camera that well. Hey everybody, um, this is going to be a grocery haul. We went to Walmart this morning for groceries, of course. But before I start the grocery haul, um, this is my first day off in 10 days. I literally worked a 10 day week so I am into overtime by about 14 hours. Of over 24? Yes, 24 hours worth of overtime. So that's going to be a nice paycheck. The thing was, I was supposed to have Friday and Saturday off. Basically the last two days. Because um, I had basically already worked an eight day string. And what happened was my supervisor thought when she made this uh, schedule two weeks ago, um, that she would have someone trained to do Friday and Saturday. Well, she goofed up. That gentleman is not supposed to start training until Monday, tomorrow. Um, so, in, I guess, compensation of working 10 days straight, she gave me a four-day weekend. So, today is day one of, of four days off, and I'm shot. Brain is not exactly working at 100%. I'm lucky if it's working at 25 right now. No, I'm fine, babe. Okay. Um, so, basically, today is basically a relaxed day, it's an easy day when shopping and laundry. But, anyhow, let's get to the shopping aspect of this video. We went to the Walmart pickup, it's on a Sunday, and when we got there, just about every slot, except for maybe three out of the nine slots there, were full. Um, I'm going to have to give kudos to Walmart because they tried to, well, they were going to swap out um, two of the sugar-free creamers because when we made the order, they were out. And they were going to substitute with a larger bottle of sugar, uh, regular creamer. The gentleman who did our delivery, basically brought him out to a car. He was the manager. Shout out to Andre. His, yeah, shout out to Andre at the Rolla, um, Rolla Walmart. Excuse me, I get a little bit of a gas. Um, well, we told him we couldn't have the sugar uh, creamer because of the factor, well, it's for Jerry and she cannot really do the sugar cr creamer. Andre was nice enough to go, hey, uh, I'll go back in there and look to see if we have what you originally ordered, the two bottles of sugar-free. He found them. Two of the sugar-free Italian creamers. So, hey, that's customer service right there. You don't get that very often in, in some places because they just want to get you in and out. Um, which, that was me yesterday. I just want people to get in and out. Uh, <laughs> I was dog tired. Um, Mom ordered a thing of Cheetos. Was it Cheetos? Yeah. Mom ordered a, a, a thing of Cheetos. It was supposed to be uh, like 28 individual bags of Cheetos. Well, they didn't. Oh, six or twelve pack of Cheetos. Thank you, hon. Um, well, they didn't have it, so they substituted the big twenty-eight. Uh, what do they call this? Fun time mix. It basically has five bags of of, of nacho Doritos, three bags of the Cool Ranch, three bags of uh, sour cream and onion chips. Three bags of regular rolled gold pretzels, three bags of the smart popcorn, five five bags of the crunchy Cheetos, three bags of the puffy, and then three bags of the sun chips. That was their substitute. They actually went up they basically upped us. They weren't all Cheetos, but mom was happy to see what what she got in exchange. Um I'm gonna go for the cold stuff so I can Oh, it was 12. On a 12, 12 count box. Jerry had to look at look at the order. Of course, I don't have a bottle, but you know, 
we go Walmart shopping, we have to get soda for mom. So we got her a um, couple bottles of soda to last her another couple weeks. But then we got, I'm going to pull this out individually because I know this bag is ripped because I was the one who helped pack this bag out. It's garbage. Um, we went and got, well, me and Jerry have been on a salad kick, I guess you'd say. So we got a, another, what is this? Two pounds worth of macaroni salad and two pounds worth of Amish potato salad, which when we get them, they last, well, they last us a good week. I mean, two, Oh, two weeks. Okay, so apparently, yeah, it depends on what we're eating. Depends on what we eat. Um, because if we eat, like if we have sandwiches or something that that you can basically eat potato or macaroni salad as a side, that's what we'll go for. Ah, looks like we're going to be doing another egg roll in a bowl session. We got the tri the tricolored coleslaw mix. Which is what we use when we make the egg roll in a bowl. I don't know if Jerry Ann's done a video on that. Bas basically, it's what it sounds like. It's an egg roll without the wrap that you just eat in a bowl. You can eat it over rice. You can eat it just as is. Tastes great either way. I, I enjoy it, that's for sure. Um, that was a... I think it was a keto-friendly... Recipe from her sister, my sister-in-law, Alicia, out of New York. Um, Jayanne got herself cubed steamable sweet potato. So, this is one of the only potatoes that Jayanne should be eating. Um, she's not supposed to be eating white potatoes or white rice or white bread, so... We do really good. We eat for bread. It's usually either sourdough or um, I forgot what that other bread was that we get at Aldi's. What's that one bread we get at Aldi's? The um, not the sourdough, the gluten -free? the gluten free. Okay, the G free. That's what I was thinking. G free. Can't remember stuff. My brain don't want to work. Um, sorry for the noise from the bags. I requested some P3s because I can take these to work and eat them instead of buying the ones that we have at work. JM found ham, cashew, and Colby Jack P3s. Now these are great for snacks or a quick, healthy alternative to chips and cakes and that kind of stuff. Which I'm surrounded by at work, so to have something like this. She got me, it looks like she got three of them. We got a. Look at the difference. They're different? I don't know. Some of them are different. No, they all say um, the same thing. Okay, so those are the same thing. Yeah, so. Okay. Well, I haven't gotten to the other ones if we got more. Sorry. Got another um, kibasi, which. She up got up got kibasi, which we can eat with scrambled eggs and stuff like that. But kibasi without pierogies, something's wrong with that picture. I'm not even Polish. No, not according to my DNA. Anyhow, um. We got some more brats. Wait, hit pause. I hate hit and pause. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna have to correct this now. Um, we got brats. We got brats, which is a family favorite. We we mom likes brats when I do my garlic potatoes, which is basically a simple can of potatoes drained with like. A quarter stick of butter and a bunch of garlic salt. But my, uh, but Jerry and I will eat these with 
um, with potatoes, with sauerkraut, with red cabbage. Um, basically, I turn it into a semi dramatic dish. Um, there's so many different ways I can make it. I mean, if I don't want to do the garlic potatoes, I'll just take a frying pan. I'll take one of the brats. I'll make that separate for mom because she doesn't like the, the sauerkraut flavor. But what I've done in the past for me and Jerry is I'll just take the brats, brown them in, the, in, a, in a deep skillet, deep uh, pan. Uh, once the brats are brown, I'll throw the sauerkraut and potatoes in on top of that. Let it heat up. Let it brown up a little bit. I need it that way. And Jerry's not complaining that she's hungry. And we just got done eating. Same thing. Making you hungry, you are hungry, whatever. Um, yep. We got two packages of lean ground beef. One of these packages will be left as is, whole. Um, because we'll use this whole package for meatloaf. Um, and then it was a substitution. We were supposed to get one big gigantic pack that we normally split up into fours. But we got two of the smaller packs. One of them will be split into two halves for Hamburger Helper, um, egg roll in a bowl, whatever we decide for. And the other one will keep hold for, for um, yeah, meatloaf. Told you I'm not all 100% here lately, or today. And it looks like, ah, lunch, lunch meats. Um, another package of Black Horse Ham. My favorite, it's kind of a, a lunch meat staple, I guess you'd say. Jerry got, Jerry Ann got herself the, is this the one I think it is, the Butterball? Thanksgiving style. Yeah, Butterball Thanksgiving style turkey, and another package of American sliced cheese, which is, Jerry Ann's, well, Jerry Ann and mom can have Yellow cheese. I okay. I cannot cannot always handle why, um, yellow American cheese. I don't know why. Um, at least straight. What we plan on doing with this is part of it is going to go into a ham and cheese um, ham cheese macaroni casserole. Uh, castle. Casserole. Casserole. Basically, what it is is we just uh, we cook up some um, egg noodles make up a white sauce, we cube up a ham, uh, some ham. I have it on my channel. Jerry has it on her channel, so if you're a, a viewer of her channel, you can go find that um, ham and noodle casserole. Ham cheese noodle casserole? I don't know. Uh, my words are getting all... Ham and noodle casserole, okay. If you're not a viewer of my wife's channel, um, you can find her just by looking up her name. Um, I'll put that in the description so you can basically look up her name. She's got on her channel everything from cooking to crafting to shop with me to um, DIYs. She, she basically does everything except for woodworking, metalworking, and leatherworking. So... She's very crafty, that's all I can say. Alright. Onward to the next stuff. Um, hey, Jer? Yes. Um, can you and Mom try to put some, away, some of this cold stuff away? That way it's not sitting out and getting warmer. Normally I would do that, but um, today I'm doing the video. She gets to put it all away. Hey, hey. No. I'm just asking her to put away the cold stuff because I don't want this to get warm. Um, now I know why Jerry Ann just throws the bags all around her because it's kind of hard to deal with these bags when you're trying to do a, a video. I don't know the cheese. I the cheese. That's the cheese. Okay, I'm 
I'll leave that out to get a little warm. Okay. I have to put it in the block. Right, you gotta re stack restack it, it and whatnot. Careful, okay. you got it? Okay. All right. All right, um, next bag. Oh, here's here's the other P3s. That you, these are the non The first set of P3s that I showed, showed you are supposed to go in the refrigerator because they're cold items. This one is not. This is a P3 portable protein pack with honey roasted peanuts, sunflower seeds, and ham jerky. It's jerky, so you don't have to free uh, refrigerate this. This can sit on your shelf. Go in your your purse, your bag, your whatever you want to carry it in, or however you want to carry it. Um, I know this is the 20th century, 21st century, and even men nowadays carry bags, and sometimes those bags look like the male version of a purse. I don't know what you want to call it nowadays. Everybody has different names. Um, and then, I guess these are, I don't know if these are for mom. What are they, baby? The, uh, the regular classic. Yeah. Yeah, Thank mom you. got herself, uh, or asked for some regular, just Lay's yeah. potato, potato chip, 10 count bag. So, I guess, well, mom eats a lot of, uh, sandwiches. In fact, uh, I just found out earlier today that mom ordered a case of single serve spam packages. Which basically, that's mom's go-to when she wants something light and quick and we're having a fin for yourself night. Or she just wants something because of my, um, the way my job is. We make our family meal before I go to work on my days that I work. So lately from what I've been hearing, mom will come out later on in the day and make herself um, fry up some spam to have a spam sandwich. Which I'm, I'm happy that she's eating more. Um, I kind of wish it was. I don't know if ham, I don't know if spam is healthy, but I wish it was a little bit healthier. I shouldn't be complaining because my diet is not always 100% healthy because of my job. I get to work, I get hungry, I eat a slice of pizza or a bag of chips. Not a good idea, and it's a small bag. And. We got a regular size bag, or a, I guess they call this a regular size bag of Fritos. Don't know if these are from mom, per se, but, yeah. um, oh, they are? I might have to borrow some from mom because Fritos and a can of chili was my college delight. Mm -hmm. As we used to call it, Frito pie. You just basically take some chili. Pour it on top of some Fritos, sprinkle some um, cheddar cheese or some kind of cheese, whatever cheese you want. I used um, Monterey Jack. And a lot of times in my one year worth of college, that was basically dinner. Because my college, which call a shout out to Ozark Christian College, um, on Sundays they only served lunch. Breakfast and dinner was at your own discretion so if I had money in the, some of my dorm mates I guess we call them um, wanted to go to CC's all you can eat pizza for five bucks boom I was in so if if not that I'd have a, the small snack size thing of Pritos poured on a um, styrofoam plate take a chili heat it up in a um, Pyrex dish poured it on top and I had like a microwave in my college dorm room so and a little 2.5 cubic inch refrigerator I know in a lot of in some of my videos I talk about my past I haven't talked a lot about my college days that might be a video that comes up soon alright um Last group of bags. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to ask my wife about this. Jerry Ann decided to get a beefy onion soup mix by Lipton. I'm assuming that's gonna be for meatloaf topping or something of that accord soon. No. In here, would you like to ask me? Yeah, what, what is it for? I wanna make the shredded beef in the crock pot. Oh, that's right. You, you need onion soup mix, and when I saw that, I was like, ooh, maybe that would be better. And yeah. then I bought And then, then of course, you bought mm -hmm. onion soup mix for. Apparently, they also have beefy onion soup. I mean, uh, mushroom onion soup mix, too. Okay, hey. I didn't get that. Okay, this is going to be very interesting because I know neither Jerry Ann and I normally eat this. But she has a jar of Golden Greek Pepperoncinis. I don't eat these. So, the recipe for the shredded Italian beef calls for the pepperoncinis. Is you cook the beef and the pepperoncini saw juice overnight. Then you add the rest of the stuff after you shred it to create the sauce. And Aunt Lee's, which is mom's always trying to get, is like that. So. Yeah, but she didn't use pepperoncini. She cooked green pepper right. seeds in her well, ojia. Yeah, yeah. It's up to. Okay, it's up to. The, no, no, no. Okay. We don't know. Nobody really knows. Yeah, nobody knows. Well, all I remember is Dad always saved the pepper seeds, the green onion, the green pepper seeds from the bell peppers for my Aunt Lee's Italian beef sandwiches, which were phenomenal. But nobody could get the recipe, and she is still not divulged the recipe, even though her daughter, her oldest daughter, Susan, thinks she's got the recipe down. Susan's not the oldest, she's the Debbie's Susan's the oldest, the oldest no. Debbie's the, Debbie's the oldest daughter. Debbie's Lucky's age, Susan's Janie's age. So oh, I thought, quite I thought it was opposite. Oh. Anyhow. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Jerry got a can of for beef consomme for the Italian shredded beef concoction she found in a recipe for. Uh, it is getting that time of the year where spring cleaning is going to be a factor in everybody's life. Um, unfortunately, spring cleaning around here is basically whenever I get a well, I shouldn't say I get a chance, but whenever we get a chance as a couple to work on cleaning the house together. So, one of the things that we use is a Swifter Duster 360, heavy duty. We got a a double, I guess you call it a double headed or double. I don't know, it's just, it's got the, the hall? yeah, if you guys watched the last haul, you'll probably see what it is. It's got two other dusters in each end. That's perfect for, like, cleaning everything. I mean, tops I can see shelves. tops of shelves, cabinets, uh, the, the air vents for the central, for, I don't know if you call it central air, central heat. It's the ducts, basically, the vents for the, the heating, the heating. HVAC, there you, thank you very much. HVAC system, the ceiling fans, basically everything that's up high that you can't reach without a step ladder. I'm getting to the point where I just don't like climbing up on those things anymore. It's just, I feel unsteady. That's just me though. I didn't know that by the way, Kevin. Oh, yeah, it's the first time Jerry's hearing about it because. I do a lot of high cleaning or high work at, at my job, which means I'm always on a step ladder. And those step, the step ladder that we have there is so old and so wobbly, it, it unnerves me, basically. You know what I'm yeah, because I don't know what to talk about those I things. Know, but I just feel like I asked you to do so much up high. Oh, now, so. that's right. Anyhow, we got some more red, red rice. Yeast. I can't talk. Red yeast rice. Yeah. Is that what it says? Red yeast rice. Yeah, see, I'm... You guys basically see my brain is not here because I'm just fried. Um, but I wanted to do this. I haven't done a video in a while. And 
Do you want me to put this on? Yeah. yeah. Jo got herself some metapausal support. It's generic estrovin. People know what estrovin is. Yeah. By the way, any of you whose mouths and brains work today, if you can say this five times fast, you're doing better than I am. Because I can't even say it five times once. Ready, Fred. Share your brain. Shit. I can't. I was trying. I'm going to spray you with this. Um, we... Well, we got this because we were out and well it's a repurchase. Re yeah, thank you. Very purchase as well as what what's what's it was a three pack it was cheaper than I know, the but what's pack. the what's the scent? The same bamboo. Oh, okay. We got some replacements. Now Does it not say it on the front end? If it does I can't read it because I don't have my glasses. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Alright. If y'all know about my house and you know the conditions that we live in, and I'm not like complaining, complaining, but you know why we get these things. <laughs> no folks, we do not have a dying cow. That is my wife air vacuuming a airbag for cheese, basically. She decided to do this in the middle of the video. <laughs> Rude. I get to say that now because she always says that to me. Turn about it, turn You taught me that. You tell them. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. And turn about is fair play. I didn't know those two terms before I met you. <laughs> Y'all hear that? I'm getting sassed on camera by my wife, and I don't do that to her. Jeez, what kind of family is it? We all joke around. Anyhow, we needed some more, you know, some more flushable wipes. We all have that need. We all have to have, you know, have to do what we have to do to take care of ourselves. Some of us around here don't mind a dirty hiney, but I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Uh, Wait, you don't mind your dirty honey or you mind your dirty honey? What you just said was you don't mind your dirty honey. Did you mean the opposite? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, the Today's opposite day because Jim's brain is just okay. backwards. You already told the people that your brain's not working. Ah. I want more, but I'm going to go spend Anyhow. That's the end of the shopping hall, and it's already been 30 minutes because, you know, some people want to goof off yeah, in the background. Right. <laughs> <sighs> um, yeah. Anyhow, this video will be a little bit longer because that's just the way it's going to be. Um, that was our shopping for the day. Um, basically, today was is kind of a recoup day for me because of the long week I had, long week, yeah, long 10 days, um, things, as y'all might know, things at work have been somewhat chaotic because of just one thing or another, there's no one individual person to blame, um, we all have a hand in it, me and my supervisor at times do have headbutting competitions only because I see it one way and she sees it a different way. And I'm polite about it to basically explain to her from my experiences in New York. And I, I am a strong believer in what my father-in-law used to say because he used to tell me, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere in, in the country, which I believe is true now. Because I, I can sit back and look at things and see better ways of doing things that would be smarter, not harder. Um, and I've tried to, to point them out and I've tried to quote unquote educate, um, that's me basically saying that, on how to do things better, on how to do things quicker and smarter without having to be so, you know, hard and takes forever. Right now, my store is going through a um, 
I don't want to call it a revamp because we're not tearing things. It's not even transition. Um, we're resetting basically um, displays and whatnot. And the the progress has been slow, not because of the workers, but because um, Casey's itself has taken its time to send us the new racks and the new system for the sodas and the beer and well everything else on the regular shelves have been done it's just trying to keep it according to what they call the planogram um and the part of that problem with that was the planogram is supposed to be sent to each store via the internet and we're supposed to print it out and put it in paper to put it in the book so everybody can look at the book and know where it goes and how it goes well Part of the problem was that the company took its time to get that information sent out. Um, then when we finally got it, it was trying to get everybody to pitch in to help put it the way the new planogram was supposed to be set. Well, I have two new co... Well, they're not new. One of them's new and one of them's old. I have two co-workers that are, to put it politely, not... They're, one of them is slow, the other one's just obstinate, I guess I call her, I, I don't know, because she will do everything the way it's supposed to be done when the supervisor's there, but when the supervisor's not there, she takes it upon herself to do whatever she wants, however she wants, and um, it's kind of, after 10 days of work, it kind of got to me there yesterday, because this particular person is the assistant manager and when the manager's not there she's supposed to be the acting manager well she took it upon herself to leave well she took it upon herself to come in an hour late and then eat, leave almost two hours early um for somebody who's been very close to management um uh, as an assistant i've been um a shift manager i've been a shift lead um, I've been an acting manager at a, at a deli in New York for a gentleman who made me the acting manager two weeks after being there. And I worked for him for almost a year and a half before he had to sell out. But for somebody who's been in the management position, has been in that game, to be late and then leave early is just a bad show. I mean... You're basically telling everybody, hey, I can do what I want because I'm the manager, but you've got to do what I tell you because I'm the manager, which I'm sorry. If you're going to be a manager in my brain, if you're going to be a manager, you're going to be the one who sets the example, sets the standard. And if your example is poor and your standard is poor, you can't really get mad at your subordinates because of the fact that they're just following your lead. But that's just from my point of view and the way my mind is. And I don't know if that's just upbringing from being a child of the military and being disciplined early on in life or what. But I'm just there to do what I can. And uh, I've gotten to the point where it's like I'm, I don't want to be, you know, one of those people that just sit there and go, well... I'm just tired of it. I'm just going to do whatever damn well want. Um, I, 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 I think that sometimes. I, I say that sometimes. But I, I, I just can't be that way. I, I mean, I, I've tried. I've tried to sit, to, I sit back and go, you know what? Let the store fall apart. Let the, let the customers be upset. Let, the, let management be PO'd at me because of the fact that I decided I didn't want to do anything. Period. I can't bring myself to that. I really can't. I, I've I've tried to a couple times where I I was just like, you know what? I'm tired of cleaning up this cap of cappuccino machine every day because they can't come over here and run a rinse cycle once or twice during their shift. I'm just gonna let it get clogged and overflow and get nasty and just spit out nothing but powder because it's so clogged that the powder is overflowing its its mixing cup. I couldn't. I had to clean it up. It just, it disgusted me. It disgusted me to think that people 
are trying to get cappuccino and all they're getting is clumps of glue, uh, goo because the the mixing chamber in the cappuccino machine is clogged. It just it bugs it boggles it just doesn't just bug me it boggles my brain that people can just let stuff go and, and just leave it for the next crew. I've dealt with that in two different stores here in Missouri and I'm just kind of like how do you do this? How do you not take pride in your job and make sure it's maintained and cleaned and presentable and usable and properly stocked and supplied? I just, I don't understand that. But I, I my biggest concern right now isn't the fact that um, we're having simple fixable issues that nobody's trying to fix, but I'm worried that when my supervisor, when the store manager basically um, goes on her vacation in late April, early May, she said, um, that the store is going to fall apart and it's going to fall on, on the night crew because the night crew is usually just me and, and the kitchen person and we literally on a daily basis bust our tails to make sure that when we leave the store is presentable for them in the morning time that if there's anything that was forgotten or, or left behind or whatever is so minor that if anybody complains it's more like nitpicking than actual hey this should have been done because if we would have had a inspector or somebody higher up come into the store and see a mess that it would be um either a write up or a mark against the store or however they do their 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 inspection system <clears throat> cuz i mean most of the things that I don't worry about because the fact I consider nitpicking is was the beer case or the cooler or the liquor cabinet or anything like that faced. And what basically that means is the labels are pointing out right so people can read the actual title of the product or um, it was pulled forward so it's closer to the end of the shelf instead of customers having to reach back in as far back as they, their arm would go for a bottle of milk or something like that. Um, I don't worry about it being pointed out right where they can read the label label because most people know the product just by the color of the bottle and the label. I do pull things forward so people don't have to reach into that cooler and possibly hurt themselves getting snagged on, on part of the shelving. I do make sure that stuff is done. But little things like that, it's just like, that's an easy fix. Why are you complaining about it? Just go push it forward. I'm sorry. I forgot about it. I had cleaning. I had more important things to do, like the cleaning, the bank count, the bank drop, the lotto count, things like that. You know, facing stuff is not important in my brain, but that's because of the fact that I, I think that cleaning and safety is more important than pushing something forward or not forward. Um, fronting it, facing it so it's not like this, it's like this. But, yeah. After 10 days is what my brain is doing to me. Anyhow, um, I ranted for almost 40 minutes, I'm sorry. If you enjoyed this video, um, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my um, channel and want to see more uh, ring that hit that bell It'll, YouTube will let you know when I put in a, a new video which is not as often as I want or as often as Jerry does but I do get them out there until next time have a good day bye